Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to do a 2015 engine air filter. First, open up your car. Then, open the hood. It's quite simple. Open it up here. You're going to find here you're going to feel a little tab. Pull up. Over there. Let's get our work light so we can see. It's okay. Okay. Unlike on my, my 2003 Camry XLE, these have tabs instead of a screw right here. There is a screw here, um, or a bolt rather, but that's just to connect it to the frame so the bottom doesn't move. Okay. And there's another tab. Wow. That was easy. See? They're making it easier now. Even with all the covers. Okay. So you see the two hinges over here. You can see the two hinges, maybe if I moved it a little closer. Okay, so there's two hinges over here that you want to make sure that you remember where they're at because this one and this one, because when you put it back in, you're going to have to put it back in at an angle. Now with two hands, this is easier, but you're going to lift up just a little bit and just wiggle it out. See that back one? And you're good. Now you're going to take the old filter out, this is the new filter, but you take the old filter out and since it's the old one, um, you could just throw it away. Now notice, the grooves, the inserts are right here, okay, the perimeter, so when you put it in, you want to put it in this way. And you can look inside real quick, you can look inside right here and you'll see that the grooves are up and the grooves are down. So match the shape it should fit the housing cover should fit over it just fine and now with two hands you should be able to slide this in okay you're going to use one hand to pull this up and the other hand it just slides in just like that okay and to put it back down we need to go back to our little hinges okay you gotta go in at an angle, okay? Go in at an angle. This should fit just nice and firmly in there. Push down. I do this tab first because there's more pressure to hold it down. And over here, fit it so it's snug. It may not be fully on the track. And just slide the clip up. And folks, see how there's no white? No white? That is how you change most cab engine air filters. Now some of you on your older Camrys, you're gonna have a bolt here. These hinges won't exist. If the bolt for some reason comes out, you gotta get a slightly bigger bolt and drill a new hole. Or I used bungee cords, the, uh, the industrial bungee cords, and I'll make another video on that someday. Anyway, that's it. For more tips, you can contact me on my YouTube page. Thank you.